Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. Excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Glad these scientists can still work from home after the Foundation was destroyed. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. Can't wait to see this grow. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great, let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Who knew rats ate bees? Bee bee gone. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate. Here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. Estate agent. Careful, low battery. the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter.
That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. What have we got here? Hello, Peter. Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Ooh, concert happening today. MJ and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! Got a little air on that one! Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check? That's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. I've had a lot of things blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. Bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. Excuse me! Look out! Phew! That was a close one. The battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Don't look like happy plants. Peter, I'm so glad you can help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Hmm. Don't worry. I'll get you all healed up and ready to feed the community.
science. I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. Come on, guys. Your plant neighbors just need to borrow your genes. Gotcha. Now to take a quick sample. Don't worry, buddy. This won't hurt. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. All right, my leafy greens. Let's get you feeling better. You need to insert this fish gene. Let's see. If I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like that. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. I know you can't understand me. Trust me, it's pretty cool. You're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier. All right, let's help out EMF. Good. Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh, no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plants will be. There it is. That's like a rock star plant with all that security. Definitely not trying to feed their community. Oh, they like a little seed in there. These thieves have no idea what they stole. This cassava's DNA could help us feed so many people. Just think of me as your friendly neighborhood famous flytrap. Uh oh, Spider-Man might have. Barry, you pranking again? Side of the... I've seen a lot of things stolen. Potted plants? I guess when people hear the word rare, they just want it. I've got something to plant. My fist in your face! I'll get you! Now where is that plant? You couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. 
glad we nipped this nefarious plan in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant! Okay, now to borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. There he is! Huh? Oh no, you're not touching that! That plant must be really special to you! I did that machine thingy! secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. nesting boxes. Good be Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and people so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bee Bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's Bee. Rat attack, rat. This is a strange job. Identify predator detected. Not to be confused with Queen Bees. Whoa! That bird! It's going after the nests. Trying to eat the bees. Aha! Neuropody albicollis, the white-throated bee-eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoo this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. Perfect. This is enough to annoy the bird, but not hurt it. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey! Bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, Birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. Okay, let's see what's the latest greatest in energy racer. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, 
They are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the webways. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Port and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Now to deploy. Fly free, little turbine. Kabam! One more! There we go! Great! They're all happily launched. I'll just head back. The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Gotta get up there. Ah! Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've gotta stop them. Eyes up! He's airborne! You guys again! I really wish we'd stop meeting like this! Stay out of our way! And we won't have to! Uh, really? I'm in your way? Okay, that's all of them. Gotta get this turbine back in place. There, all up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. Okay, Dr. Young, bring it on. Hello, Peter. Let's do one last training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha! someone steal the drone? I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if I can figure out where it went. Hmm, no sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect the video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. But I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode. Let's kill two bees with one shot. I free them, and then they'll help me get back. Contestants on. Look to the face. Oh. Uh. In. Throw safety mode. Fly home. Yeah. Here come the exterminators, oh. fighter. That 
That's all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees, real or troll. MJ! Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. this Lance and a thumb drive they say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin but I know Norman I think Peter <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time whenever we got through it I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. We salvaged from the field studies. We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? something for you. We're in good health. Love you. 